على هذه الأرض ما يستحق الحياة There's something that's worth living for on this earth Palestine This beautiful land lies at the crossroad of Asia and Africa and it has therefore always been an important meeting point for different cultures Palestine is a wonderful spot. It's not a large country, but it has massive religious, economic, tourism, and historical value. When we talk about Palestine, we talk about heaven on earth and the dream of peace. We talk about many beautiful cities. Gaza, Bethlehem, Hebron, Ramallah, Nablus, Tulkarm, Jenin, and the Palestine's capital, Jerusalem. It's the greatest wonder and the jewel of Palestine. Jerusalem is the capital of Palestine. It's the largest city of occupied Palestine in area and it's the most important of religions and economy. It's built by the Jebusites in 3000 BC and it is the birthplace of the three heavenly religions, Islam, Christianity and Judaism. Jerusalem is located in the western part of Asia, near the Mediterranean Sea, on one of the plateaus of the Hebron Mountains. This plateau is located in the center of Palestine, surrounded by many mountains and valleys. It is about 700 meters above sea level. Jerusalem was destroyed twice, troubled 23 times, attacked 52 times, and invaded 44 times. In the 1948 war, Al-Nakba, the Zionist organization led by the Hakana, managed to occupy 78% of the lands Palestine and occupied a large part of Jerusalem, the area occupied by the enemy called West Jerusalem, and the area which remained under the control of Jordanian forces called East Jerusalem. Al-Aqsa Mosque in the old city of East Jerusalem remained in the hands of the Muslims until the 1967 war, then the Zionist enemy occupied east of Jerusalem as well. UN Security Council Resolution 242 was issued to restore the occupation of what they occupied in the 1967 war, including East Jerusalem, a decision that hasn't yet been implemented. Channel Ahmar, the Red Caravansary. The name comes from the red color given off by the iron oxide engine limousine forming the red brown hills of the areas on the road descending from Jerusalem to Jericho. Khan al Ahmar is a Palestinian village in the Jerusalem governorate of the West Bank. In 2018, there were between 173 and 180 Bedouin, including 92 children, living there in tents and huts. Upward of 100 in 2010, with its local school severing the needs of 150 children in the area. Khan al Ahmar is locked between Israeli settlements. Palestinians brace for Israeli bulldozers in the West Bank. If we lose Khan al Ahmar, we lose Jerusalem. For years, Israel has been implementing a policy aimed against Palestinian communities throughout the West Bank designed to make the residents leave their homes and displace the communities. The policy is implemented tactically, so as to avoid the blatant images of soldiers forcing Palestinians into tracks. Instead, Israel invests efforts in making the lives of these residents unbearable, in order to get them leave their homes as a throw of their own free will. The policy is not applied uniformly to all the communities and brings from harassment and preventing development to exploit intention to expel entire communities. In any case, Israel's goal to minimize the Palestinian presence in order to use the territory for its own uses, including expanding settlements. <laughs> When we talked about Al-Khan Al-Ahmar, we didn't just mean it. 
we talked about one of the hundreds of areas which are under injustice. So, each of us has a rule to protect these areas. None is excluded. Palestine is the glory, beauty, grace and majesty. Palestine is life, relief, felicity and belief. Palestine is our right now and tomorrow. We'll go with a steady hair, hoping for a near victory, and calls good to see our home is safe, pleased, victorious, and unearthed.